Thank you for bringing me the mirror of fate, Father. You know, only you are able to fulfill your destiny. I saw my destiny in this mirror a long time ago. But you were alone then. Now you have Mother and me. That's true. The mirror can help you sometimes, when it wants to. There is no armor against fate. Then make me a promise. What is it? When this is over, choose your family. I've already done that. A great victory, my friend. There's still one left. Indeed. And I fear that it's only a matter of time before he finds us. Since the death of his brother and sister, the third acolyte has come out into the open and is unleashing all his power to find those responsible. He's more powerful than the others and appears to fear nothing. This acolyte commands ultimate possession and control over others. Religious power. There's a conclave in the Basilica of the city. The church leader's been locked inside there for weeks. The acolyte must be one of them. Remember our deal, Gabriel. Destroy the acolytes before Satan can be summoned. And you will have the eternal peace you desire. Every second counts. Go with him. We must find the third acolyte. Don't waste any more time. Must be some way to go forward.
fascinating. to make a path to that mechanism. This is to me so that I can move forward. Objective is very close now.
O oh, you, who inhabit the primordial air, whom from the corners of the earth are all powerful, to you it is said, contemplate the glorious face of Satan, the beginning of all consolation and whose eyes give clarity to the stars. Let the seasons be confused, and let it be that no creature shall be equal. Let all men fight among themselves. Let their work be mutilated and their homes be no more There's the acolyte. For the beast we must the destroy him before he can summon Satan. You're not going anywhere. You did it. The way out of the castle's there. Remember? The throne room. Let's continue on. Father. Let's continue on. Father. What you are looking for is in that book, Gabriel. Time to wake up, Father. Remember. Remember everything.
is with me, monster. That will be your ruin. Maledictiet excommunicate daimones. In virtute storum factorum de I non... I was like you once. But your god showed me another path. Messias. Emmanuel. Soter. Sabahot. Adios. Inkiros. Athanatos. Jehovah. Adonai. That's why the power of your God cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one. Ubi furent haec nomina et digna dei, precipimus vobis, at quelegamus vos ut non habietus. What is that? A pestin, neck bear, aliquod. Quod am quae maleficium nocere a incantationem neck quae in anima neck in corpore. Trevor? Trevor died a long time ago, Father. You made me what I am. I stand here before you, reborn, a vampire. I am Alucard. Why are you here? You know better than anyone I cannot die. My immortality runs through your veins, too. Of course. Only my father, Gabriel Belmont, can destroy Dracula. It is too late for me. How can you be so sure? The roots of evil are deep. Irreversibly so in the hearts of men. It is their true nature their destiny. I was their most devoted warrior. A champion of light. But I fell. Fell into darkness. And now, I am feared as the Prince of Darkness. Ironic, don't you think? The mighty Zobek hides from me like the scared rat he is. Even Satan himself is too afraid to leave the pits of hell and fight me. But if I die now, Alucard, they will simply take my place. Evil will prevail. It is the natural order. The world is like this. Abandon all hope. No. What if there was a way to destroy their evil forever? 
to free mankind from tyranny. If they believed you dead, they would come out into the light once more, would they not? This is the Chrysagrum. I forged this weapon from a fragment of the vampire killer you drove into Camilla's heart. I found it in the castle all those years ago, the first time we faced each other in combat. If your heart is pierced by this weapon, you will fall into a deep sleep. It will not kill you, but you would lose all your powers and would not be able to resurrect until it was removed. This is not the true death you desire. But Satan will think you dead. Centuries will pass and his acolytes will start to prepare for his return. Zobek will no doubt think that Satan is going to return. And he will be beset by panic. Zobek knows only too well that he has no rival for Satan, so he'll look for me in the hope that I'm still alive somewhere. At the appropriate time, I will remove the sword. I'll make sure that Zobek finds you. He knows only that with your help can the Acolytes be destroyed and Satan's return foiled. I will be too weak. Zobek will see through the charade easily. The long sleep will fragment your memory. Zobek will only see confusion. I won't remember this conversation. And Zobek will see only dark shadows in my mind. But how can you be sure I'll collaborate with him? Because, in exchange for your help, he'll offer you the one thing you really desire. True death. Eternal peace. Zobek has the vampire killer. Yes. You thought your weapon broken, but he has found the fragments and rebuilt it. Only he can grant you eternal rest. You must allow the last acolyte of summoning ritual to bring Satan to this earth. We can trap him here. And we can destroy him. Forever! For that to happen, you must recover all your powers again. In order to confront him at that critical moment. You're asking me. To free the world from Satan, again! To sacrifice everything for humanity, again! Yes, I am! Within this last moment, you will hold both Zobek and Satan within your grasp. Then do it. That damn sword into my heart before I change my mind! Son, when will I meet you again? When I put my hand on your shoulder, Father. It's been a long journey. Remember? Remember our pact, Father? I remember it well. Son.
Come, priest. Summon your father. Bring mighty Lucifer out of his hole to face his old enemy one last time. Oh, true lord, tell me the exact place in which you desire to be reborn. Torizot! Norquasahi! Otvikosaga! I understand. 